Yep, that's right. So it's a Lebanese recipe today. We're making flatbread. So basically, we're making a, a dough, a bread dough with some yeast. We're going to prove it. It's going to be a little bit like a pizza. We'll bake it in the oven. I've got some tips for you to do that. And then we've got a sweet spiced lamb mix on top with some yogurt, chili, and fresh air mint over the top. It's really good. It's really fast. Tasty for this time of the year. You can make it tonight. I'm going to show you how to do it a little bit later. Thank you very much, Holly. Great to have you with us. We are now in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, you've got a Lebanese dish to share with us. So yep, when, we, right. when we think Lebanese, what do we think? Uh, so you've got spices in there, sort of a lot of sweetness coming from currants and, and flavours like that. A bit of chilli and yoghurt and mint, so fresh, sweet, chilli, um, spices. OK, cool. So, so interesting, really interesting food. And, and you uh, said it was quick. Well, it is quick, but you've got to make the bread first. Okay, so we sure. made some quick bread yesterday. Yes, so we this did. is the opposite of quick bread. Oh, this is slow so bread. the meat part's <laughs> quick. Right, so you're going to make the bread. Oh, so we're going, to get, we're going to get that on at the moment. So it's really fun making, making bread, and we made it yesterday, but we didn't have any yeast in yesterday. No. But today we're going to put some yeast in. So I've got some flowers here. Yes. So I pop the flowers in. Uh huh. And at the same time, I've got this uh, dried yeast here, so fast acting dried yeast. So that goes in uh, just a separate bowl. And then I've just measured out the water for the recipe. And this wants to be warm, OK? OK. So it doesn't want to be too hot, otherwise you kill the, le uh, the, the yeast. If it's too cold, it takes too long to activate. So nice and warm. So you should be able to put your finger in it, and it's nice and warm, not burning your finger, OK? OK. When you said flowers, what do you mean flowers? Yeah, so I've got semolina flour in there, and I've oh. got a double O flour, so like a really fine milled flour. So, so we're making almost like a pizza dough. OK. Uh, you've got a little bit of uh, sugar in there and a little bit of salt. Yep. And then just mix this around. So I'm not putting all the water in here. So just make sure it's all dissolved. And then that goes in there. Mm -hmm. And you can start mixing that around. OK. And then you can start adding the other water. And we're just going to bring it into a dough. So don't add all the water as well. So you can always add it. It's really hard to um, take the water away. You've got to keep adding more and more flour. Right. OK. So it's just easier to, to sort of keep doing that. I thought you had to make a little well in the middle of your flour and stuff like that. Well, you did. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> it gets fun in a minute. Because once you get it to a dough, you can tip it out and then you've got to knead it. OK, so it looks like a lumpy mess at the moment. Yeah, it does. Yeah, well, it is a lumpy mess at the moment. But it's going to be a nice smooth dough when you're finished. OK. OK? So maybe pop the rest of the water, the rest of the water in there. So you're just sort of checking it. And then you want to tip that out on the uh, workbench. Mm -hmm. OK, so if it's still a little bit wet, you can add a little bit of flour, but it's always good to just tip it out and start kneading it. You know, if it really sticks to your hands, um, we'll add some flour. But you've still got those little bits of flour. You need your apron again, don't you? <laughs> it's all right, mate. Making bread. It's all good. So that's it. And then, and then keep kneading it. So remember yesterday, you sort of um, pull, it, pull it back with your fingers and then you push him forward with your palms of your hands. OK? That's I'm it. Just so still keep mixing it up here a little bit. Yeah, yeah. so mix it up, right. and then once once it comes to into sort of a, a dough, then you want to start putting a bit more pressure on. <laughs> oh my it's great God. stress relief uh, making bread. Is it? Yeah. I'm getting stressed <laughs> thinking about <laughs> the mess I'm making. <laughs> okay, no, it's working. We're working. There, there, We're there you go. There. there you go. And then once you've got a nice consistency, if you've still got a little bit of flour around, you can just wipe that to the side. You know, you don't have to add it in. Oh, okay. And you want a nice sort of like a, you. Once you've kneaded it for about five minutes, it should be nice and smooth, springy, you know, and it's not sticking to the uh, the work surface. Oh, no, she's coming along nicely. I thought we were in a, for a bit of a disaster there at the start. Oh, there you go. Right, you've just got to there. get it nice and smooth now. OK, well, I could be here chop, for a while. Chop, chop. <laughs> Recipe at the cafe.co.nz. <laughs> And what are you doing? You've right, got so your onions. Gonna, yeah, so I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to start the onions. So just got some onions, just dice it up, a little bit of oil and some garlic in there as well. And then I am going to, oops, got the lamb mince as well. All right, so full of flavour. It's a great ingredient in there in uh, Lebanese cooking. Lots of these, lots of lamb. I mean, you can do this with pork mince or uh, beef mince if you want. We'll just keep it vegetarian. So I'm going to start, just pop a little bit of the mince in there. And I just want to sort of start frying the mince, breaking it down, getting all those onions mixed in. Once it's broken down a little bit, I'm going to start adding the spices. So we've got some cumin in there and we've got some nutmeg as well. But you can have things like cinnamon, you can put some chilli in here now, you know, the sky's the limit, so you can just keep adding to this, whatever you want. Nice work. All right, let's have a look at the dough. Yep, the dough's coming along nicely. There you go, so you can yep. see it's getting nice and smooth now, so just sort of, you know, give it a feel, it's nice and springy. So another five minutes of uh, kneading it. OK, cool, <laughs> well, I'll keep kneading. It is smelling incredible and I've finished the kneading. So everything's coming along nicely. Yeah, so I'm just going to, so just fried the lamb off. It's got some nice colour on that. Just put the uh, raisins in there. We've got all the spices going in there as well. Give that a little bit more of a fry. Nice season. And then some chicken stock as well. 
So it's just gonna soften the meat, get all those spices mm. into the meat, and then you just wanna sort of cook that down till it's almost dry again. Nice. So we got the dough, yep. nice and smooth, pop it into a bowl, cover it with cling film, put it somewhere warm, Yeah. which we've done here, and then after about sort of 30, 40 minutes, um, it doubles in size. Brilliant. So that's what we've got there. So you can take the cling film off, mm -hmm. bring the dough out. Right. So you can get in there now, you knock the air out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, be brutal with it. No, you're getting it out of there. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Just be, just, be, just be rough with it. And then, so you knock the air out. So and then, fluffy. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and that's going to, it gets flavouring as well every time you do that. So just uh, bring it back into a bowl a bowl again. Yeah. And then all we're going to do now is just put it into into four. And then you just want to roll these out. So you can have a little bit of um, flour on the work surface if right. you want. Okay. And you can just roll them out, and just like in flatbreads, or you can just, you know, you can just do it with your fingers as well if you want. You know, it's just like a pizza, okay, but it's cool. a flatbread, so don't go, don't go round like a pizza. You know, go with more rectangle. Okay. And then I've got a tray here, so we're going to roll it out. We'll pop it on the tray, and then we'll build. We'll put all the ingredients on and build it. And then I've got another one of these trays in a really, really hot oven, like as hot as you can go on your oven. Right, and that's um, important. Yeah, baking tray, or even better, if you've got a pizza stone, um, you know, the ceramic there, or a stone or a tile or something like that in your oven. And then what we're gonna do is slide it from there onto the tray, in onto the hot tray, and it's just gonna seal the bread straight away on the base, and it's gonna make it rise and cook it all, and it'll take about sort of Five, five, ten minutes. Too thin? If that, no, no, that's good. Yeah. Bring go, oh, you can bring go a little bit more. Okay. Cool. There you go. Oh. Nice and rustic. Do it with your hands. I love it. Actually, making good. your own bread is quite therapeutic, actually. Yeah, it's quite good. You just need a little bit of time. Okay, all right, so you can pop it on there. And then, oh, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, and then you can put some meat on, so spread some meat on. We've got um, a little bit of mint there, which we're going to chop some chilies which we're going to chop mm -hmm. over it and then uh, a little bit of yogurt so you can you can spoon a little bit oh you can chop that actually i'm going to get some yogurt i'm just going to spoon some little piles over the top oh that mint smells incredible yeah, sprinkle the mint over sprinkle the uh, chopped chilies over and a little bit of olive oil a little bit of salt and pepper and then into that hot oven which we were talking about before okay I haven't done your chilies yet. No, I'll get the chilies on. <laughs> I'm not very good at chopping chilies. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, well, look, we'll see the finished product very soon. This is incredible. If you want the recipe, go to thecafe.co.nz. Looking good, you Lebanese bread there. That's good. It doesn't take long in the oven, about five minutes. Take it out, chop it up, serve it. Yeah. There you go. Wow, well, I really can good. eat that in a heartbeat. <laughs>